friends this is shraddha and today i'm going to teach you how to create dot cards using a powerpoint now here when you open up microsoft powerpoint presentation you can select a shape that is a circle now we are going to draw a circle now the circle is of blue color i want it to be red so i'm going to fill the shape and the shape outline as red now due to the glare uh, because i'm shooting it from my phone the color is appearing to be lightish red but it should be dark red okay so just select it let's select it okay so i've chosen the red one now the outline also i'll select as red and uh, the size of the dot is height is 3 cm width is 3 cm this is the standard one mentioned by glenn domen in his book the how to teach your baby maths so what i do here is i always control c and control v so that the circle that i have selected it gets pasted with all the formatting as it is now as the video process i'll just show you another secret command that can make your control plus c control plus v work more easier and more faster you can also select uh, doing this using your mouse but i have used my keyboard so what i'm doing here is i'm adding uh, new slides so i have taken up some 10 slides where i'm going to show you how to create the dot cards put in the symbols and different types of uh, shapes that you can use instead of a dot card so let's begin so now i have con i have just selected the control v and i'm going to show you the secret command that is control d now what you can do with control d is you can paste this particular circle n number of times on any of the slides so once you control c it control v it once you can paste it n number of times using a control d so if you press control d for one the circle will be one if you control c, control d for 100 times the 100 circles will get created automatically but as we have to align them in a random shape so you know i'm just now assigning each circle to a space so there are almost four circles which got printed as soon as i uh, as soon as i did the control d command so now i have just arranged them in a random state the dot card should be arranged in a random state some of the dot cards are also arranged in a sequence but be, uh, as per the blend we have uh, we have just arranged it in a random way now here i have applied the control d command see it was just one second job and then i could just move the circles anywhere any random place move it to the left move it to the right it's absolutely fine so i just clicked control d control d control d for like 13 times and it just got pasted so creating dot cards is very easy once you create one circle you can keep control and paste and control and d so the control c plus v also works but i prefer control d because it is very fast with it so here the slide is full done with some dots approximately 13 dots if you want you can count them the babies can count it much quickly than us now here i'm just trying to format i'm just checking whether all the circles are three centimeters in height and width see at the right hand side you can adjust the height and width as the number of dots increase you can reduce the size from three to one or two or 1.5 see here specifically i've shown you how to assign the width and height so earlier it was huge then i reduced it to three centimeters now i'm going to show you equation plus sign so here whenever i have drawn any of the symbol they automatically come in blue color so i just go and change their color to red and the border line also i'm changing it to red now it is appearing as orange but it is actually red color now this size i felt it's quite less so i have increased it to 20 centimeters height and width should be same like if you take 20 then height then 20 width if you take 40 height then 40 width like that so as per your choice you can uh, you know you can edit the size of the particular symbol now you can see i'm adjusting it so i'm doing this video on a very real basis so that you can see that how quickly I could do so many things in just like merely 10 minutes. I think less than 10 minutes. 
now i have taken a minus symbol i have purposely taken it to be a you know a very hefty minus sign the small sign i didn't want it so i just increased its size to some 20 cm 20 cm like that so it looks good and uh, you can show this flashcards to your child on the laptop or in your mobile phone or you can get it printed on a normal a4 size paper but if you feel that no everybody is using gsm paper and i am able to afford it then you can go ahead and you can uh, print it on that gsm paper but what i personally feel is as it is why should we waste time thinking how to flash so many cards just take two a4 size paper print it print this uh, dot cards and just show two dot cards at a time so that there will be no problem of flashing the cards fast you can easily flash two cards in a4 size it's very easy now i've taken a hard shape to just tell you that sometimes kids don't like the dot so if your child likes hard or if your child likes a car the same procedure you need to follow i have chosen three centimeters width and three centimeters height for every shape so here i'm going to show you again where you have to go you have to go in the shapes then uh, where do you find all the shapes so it is in insert command when you open the powerpoint you will see a tab as file home insert design transaction transition animation slideshow so you need to select the insert one so now i have taken the heart and i'm going to paint it red on the border and the inside color so now i'm going to control c control d or control v whatever suits you but i like to take control d because control d uh, paste all the shapes or the dot cards very fast so i just need to align them so i have taken this heart and i'm aligning it see oh uh, it is merely a two minute job to do this printing could be done at your home or you can get it printed from outside or you can purchase from online stores whatever suits your budget see i have just pressed control d and so many hearts got printed and i'm just assigning them to a space randomly randomness is there for all the dot cards and shape cards because of that you know oh, you can literally place any any shape anywhere there is sequential maths cards also like where you have to arrange the dots or the shapes in a sequential way we'll cover it some other day but for now you can go ahead with the simple powerpoint presentation that i have created and you can create your own and tell me how is your experience in the comment box so now let's another go on another slide and i'm just going to show you some shapes like you can also teach your child triangle a rectangle or hexagon a pentagon all the shapes are already there in the powerpoint presentation you just don't need to do anything you just need to put the red color and slowly when your child is approximately 2 or 3 you can add colors also no problem to it you can also create mandala cards or you know the linking memory cards or telepathy cards or link linking memory cards peg memory cards with this particular powerpoint presentations now i'm just showing you how quickly i am presenting the flash cards so one dot card two dot card three dot card four dot cards 13 dot cards then plus sign will come plus sign now my shape minus sign has come now hearts have come now another heart has come now the shape has come and the last slide this is almost 53 or 54 dots so i have just done them with a simple control d command like my efforts you can create 0 to 100 cards using this method when the dots increase try to reduce the size of the circle to 1.5 centimeters or 1.8 centimeters the width and the height should be same thank you and do subscribe to my channel